What's going on everyone? In this video, I want to show a little bit about MAC address filtering and how you go about bypassing that network access control. Even in today's world where there's better solutions like 802.1x where you'd actually need credentials or a certificate to access a network, people are still using MAC addresses to whitelist their devices onto a network. So what I'm going to show you in this video is an example meeting room a device that you might find in there, or a few devices you might find in there, and how to bypass the MAC address whitelisting. So if we walk into my fake meeting room here, what you will typically find on a client site or your attack environment is an empty desk where a corporate employee would obviously put their laptop, a place to connect their laptop, and this device could either be a switch, it might be an IP phone, it could be a printer, or any sort of network device. And as an attacker, you want to gain access to the corporate network. So obviously, Ethernet um, cables are something you want to be dealing with and plugging into your laptop to try and get on that network. So using your attack laptop, which I've got here, we're going to show you how to bypass MAC address filtering. So the first thing you want to do is actually just unplug the ethernet cable, plug it into your laptop and see if you can get corporate access because there's actually no authentication needed to get on the network. If I do an IPA in Cali, you'll see that I do have an IP address and my MAC address is this. But if I do a ping, the host network is unreachable. So that probably means that even though you have an IP address, you're not gaining connections to the corporate network. So what you need to do is change your MAC address. And this is quite simple. So on this switch, it literally says the MAC address on the switch. And this is quite common, even though it sounds quite dumb. So you can take that MAC address, put it into a program called MAC Changer, and symbolize being that switch and thus connect to the network. So this could also be an IP phone. You can literally go to the settings and find the MAC address. And same with the printer, go into the printer settings, you know, on the, the actual screen and see the MAC address. This is commonly not password protected and a very easy way to bypass MAC address filtering. So the first thing you need to do is take down the ETH0 Ethernet connection within Linux, go to MAC Changer, use sudo MAC Changer ETH0 with the M flag and then the MAC address, which is the same MAC address we found on this device. Enter that in, and you can now see that the old MAC, which was this, has now been swapped to the new MAC, which is this. So, if we try and ping now, we're still not gonna get anything. That's because we need to do a DH client to get an IP address again and actually connect and authenticate to the network. So if we do that, and now we ping, well actually firstly, let's just show you a, another IPA you'll see that we've now got an IP address again and the MAC address here has changed to the same MAC address that was on this switch. So if I do the ping again to Google, which symbolizes connecting to the internet instead of using a corporate network because I don't actually have a corporate network here, you'll see that I am now pinging, whereas before I couldn't ping at all. And that's totally down to me changing my MAC address and now being allowed on a corporate network because my MAC address for this laptop has changed to the whitelisted device. That's kind of all I need to show you. That's how easy it is to gain access to a corporate network that uses MAC address whitelisting. And that's why you really need to be using a more, well, a better method such as 802.1x. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Give us a subscribe and a like and shout out to the wife for the filming.